Hi, Pratesh. Welcome. Hi, Radha. How are you? Thank you so much for having me over today. Uh, hi. This evening. Uh, most welcome and thank you for joining me uh, like i was just telling our viewers um, you know i usually like to give a brief introduction um, and and uh, i was telling them how i love natural beauty products and given that you guys are doing really well in this space and you're organic and you know also you're based in coimbatore and you uh, that's where you are right and um, yeah so it's very interesting to see how niche beauty brands are doing really well in the market uh, for themselves um and also the fact that you guys are organic and you know indian adds a lot more value um i think uh so pratesh uh, i did go through your story you know on your website and how you and mega started the brand in 2014 um and it was very interesting but uh, more importantly i want to know how has the journey been in the last 5 years um you know because you're competing against big brands in the beauty business right but you still made a mark for yourself so how has this journey been for you guys uh first of all uh, thank you so much uh lata to have uh, me uh, here this evening to have this wonderful conversation with you i uh, hope everybody uh, watching this uh, are uh, healthy and staying well and keeping themselves safe uh, uh, times are uh, you know to uh, you know take care of yourself more than anything else at this point in time it's more important that yeah. uh, you know we really take care of ourselves and uh, you know be aware of what's happening around uh, us uh, yes to answer your question alata has been a phenomenal journey for us uh, this last 5 years uh we never expected to you know reach here uh, because uh, like you know i always say you know uh, we didn't happen to juicy chemistry juicy chemistry happened to us uh mm. you know so it's been a phenomenal learning curve for us in this last 5 years and um, we are continuously on that path and you know improvising and learning as we go uh and uh, you know our commitment towards organic is what has really set us apart from all the mm. other brands that are out there in the indian uh, beauty uh, space uh, so to say Yes, there is uh, there is a lot of competition now. You know, there is a lot of uh, you know new brands, like you said, have really come up, which is great to see because you know the the demand is actually coming from the consumer, right? And mm. that's why you see that you know the uh, there is a there there is a the total of of brands that are uh, are trying to you know fill up the space, which is great because you know uh, everybody is going towards natural at least. Uh, and mm-hmm. understanding that you know chemicals um, in different varieties and different forms are quite uh, bad for our everyday use uh, we start from toothpaste uh, end up in the night with you know a makeup remover as well so everything at every stage has different uh, formulations and different chemicals go into them to formulate their consistency their efficacy uh, utility all these things make up uh, you know how uh, when what chemicals are used in everyday skin care products the journey has been uh, predominantly uh, you know about learning for us uh, and you know imbibing organic ourselves uh, mm-hmm. you know when we knew um, that you know the the kind of chemicals that you know were getting used in uh, everyday skin care products was quite a shock to us uh, mm-hmm. and when, you know we kept seeing this uh, as a trend at every stage uh, of uh, of uh, using uh, different products right from your toothpaste to your you know to your creams to your uh, hair gels to shaving creams for example baby care products mm. um, it, it was there it was there everywhere in the indian market right i mean uh, there was so much of misinformation that was being passed around in terms of you know what was hidden in the ingredients as well and what was getting communicated in the front of the label so for us it was important to you know just understand for ourselves first as in uh, is it possible to actually make a skincare brand uh, or a product to to say uh, you know can which can be completely called a chemical free product right at its root level right i mean from from where the ingredients are getting sourced right from my mm. supply chain to my manufacturing process uh, you know it was important for us to understand if it was possible to make products without chemicals and even if we made it could it could it be possible to make a brand out of it which came in mm. much later for us because you know that was not the idea when we started off juicy chemistry um, back in 2014 and early 2015 so it's 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 been a journey that has uh, really led us to a lot of revelations about you know what we could do how we could do things what we could offer the consumers and uh, predominantly just disrupt uh, the market which was uh, you know uh, quote unquote natural and not really uh, in that category so it was about that for us when we started to see chemistry
Right. Um, Pratish, one of the things, uh, you know, which uh, strikes me is that a lot of beauty brands, indigenous ones, you know, they start off small, right? They start off very niche and it's easy to handle the manufacturing process and so on. And I know you have a background in manufacturing, right? But what happens when, you know, the demand is so high and you have to do large scale manufacturing? Does it take away from... Uh, you know, what you started off with, your values that you started off with, where you uh, choose to stay organic and choose to stay natural. But when you, you know, when you have to produce, mass produce, you know, uh, does it get to the point of compromise or do you say no? You know, we stick to this as is and we manage things as we go. That's a great question, Nata. I mean, I've seen I've seen this happen so many uh, times uh, with so many different brands where, you know, it's very easy to steer away from your core values. Because mm. as you grow big, you know, you want to automize some of your operations. You want to, you know, sort of uh, uh, hand it over to a co-packer or a manufacturing facility that can take care of it, but not essentially follow your same ethos uh, because, you know, they don't have the capabilities of doing so. Or then, you know, you are, uh, you know, you know, you're depending on a production line, which can... Uh, uh, literally do only so much and don't doesn't have uh, an intervention uh, for mm. quality uh, uh, as as you would want it. So I completely understand your question, and um, so the answer is uh, it's very easy to steer away to that. Uh, to, you know, for us to move from organic to natural, because mm. that's where you see predominant uh, predominant number of of, of uh, brands you know operating in that segment, right? Which is a natural category which is mm. obviously better than conventional uh, grade of uh, products that are available in the market, but right. obviously they are still in the natural category. Uh, organic is a different, different ball game altogether mm. when it comes to, you know, manufacturing, sourcing, uh, labeling, transparency, packaging, uh, you know, everything. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a complete uh, uh, circle, so as to say, where we need to cover a variety of aspects when it comes to, uh, you know, when a, where and when a product can uh, really claim itself to be organic. Uh, mm -hmm. I completely agree with you. And we've seen this in scale for us, you know, when we started off with 5,000 rupees in our pocket with a small uh, makeshift manufacturing facility to today, uh, we are uh, at, uh, you know, in excess of 10,000 square feet facility. And then it's, it's, it's growing at this point in time. For mm -hmm. us, uh, you know, uh, we get, we kept uh, getting this question a lot that, you know, please don't change your quality just because you're growing right. as a brand. Please, please don't change your quality because, you know, that is what uh, we associate Juicy Chemistry with. And, and, and that's, uh, you know, that's what we want to be associated with. It's not about, you know, how we scale. Even if you are scaling, it's, mm. it's, it's about the company's core values and what the founders want or the, or the investors or the board, uh, you know, is on board uh, to, you know, uh, to take this company forward and, and where this company needs to go and how, uh, mm. you know, are, are you going to be withholding those values that your company predominantly stands on? So for us, it's very clear that, you know, no matter the size of the company, we want to really be in the organic space because, you know, that's where our core competence lies. We know organic. Mm. We know how um, things are uh, limited as far as organic is concerned. And we are ready to, you know, invest in, uh, in uh, time, effort, energies and uh, automation uh, to a certain level whenever possible. But within the, within the uh, uh, you know, principles of, uh, you know, organic formulations. So for us, it's uh, it's going to remain like this, no matter how uh, how big the size of the company gets over the years. We want to remain in the organic and uh, and uh, hair care and skin care industry. And uh, for us, it's not going to be about deviation from what we are doing. Uh, we want to really stick to organic ethos. Uh, our manufacturing uh, is is limited to that, and we know we get a lot of uh, queries for you know third party manufacturing as well. So they would come right. to us and say, hey, listen, we know you have an organic certification. Could you you know, manufacture this, but, you know, you, can you add these, these, these for our, uh, for our formulations? And, you know, we would probably give you a one lakh pieces of it, maybe two lakh pieces of it. But for mm. us, it's not, it's something that we really cannot do. So for us, uh, uh, okay. You know, that's where the brand <laughs> is built on. Yeah. So. Okay. That's great. I mean, it's great to see that, you know, you're going to stick to the values and give your customers what, uh, something authentic, which I think mm -hmm. is uh, brilliant. Um, the other thing, of course, you know, um, is with the beauty products which have chemicals in it. They last years, you know. They have an expiry date of two years and three years, usually when you get it. But obviously, with organic products, the shelf life is not three years, I would presume. 
you know of course. um because uh, obviously when you're not adding things or chemicals to preserve the product uh, it's not going to have a long shelf life but um uh what happens in that case i mean um is uh, so the quality of products uh, like is the use by date just by 6 months would should that be a concern at all for your customers or it's not because you know uh, the product is so good that you and i know that you have return customers because i've seen a lot of your posts and you know i know people love your products and i've seen the feedback so um does that shelf life ever you know become an issue is what i'm trying to get at in fact uh, uh, you know um, uh, lata that's actually worked uh, very much in in favor of juicy chemistry uh, to be very mm. honest with you because mm. uh, if say for example you know i always give this uh, example that you know you have say uh, a processed or a packaged food which is lying uh, in the freezer for about 6 months uh, or you have freshly painted uh, uh, you know a uh, food on your table which one would you rather choose you would more often than not always go for food which is freshly cooked right so that is something right. that you know you need to take into account as far as skin care and hair care is concerned as well why would mm. you assume that uh, you know a product which can have a 3 year shelf life would be uh, you know a, a the same uh, as a product which would be uh, an organic in nature so obviously there is a huge difference between the two categories in the first place um, mm. you know there is a lot of uh, there is a lot of mis uh, representation of organic in the sense that you know organics have no preservatives it's actually not true at all uh, you mm. know we use uh, preservatives uh, in the sense uh, that you know we use salt we use sugar uh, we use mm. oils uh and these are age old preservation methods uh, you know these are not and these uh, are more natural they are not these are yeah, they're not chemical preservation yeah. methods and these mm. are not uh, a, your conventional uh, you know methods where you know you add 0.5% of it and it's an anti microbial or antibacterial uh, suppresses growth in the mm. product even though the product does not have a shelf life you pretty much add life to the product by you know suppressing the bacterial mm. formation but here what you want to do is you want the, the natural shelf life of the product to be in place all the time you don't want to elongate it nor you want to shrink it because mm. if you shrink the shelf life of the product that means you've not handled the product correctly it loses its nutrient value it loses it loses very um, you know delicate uh, enzymes and essential fatty acids which are so volatile uh, and you know uh, when they are mm. exposed to atmosphere or moisture they lose a little bit of their potency and you don't want that to happen the 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 point right. here is uh, to you know use the product as is from the nature apply it minimally processed as possible to your uh, uh, to your skin and hair care regime uh, mm. and apply it at a time where they are highest in in potency as well right but mm. that's not the case when you preserve a product because you don't know what the product is uh, you know uh, going to would that product would have stayed on the shelf if a preservative mm. was not added to the product uh the answer more often than not would be no it's not going to be preserving on itself it needs to have a right. preservation to preserve its life so mm. here what has happened is it has really uh you know worked in the advantage of juicy chemistry where the customer is now aware that you know this product is an organic product thereby it has a right. shorter shelf life and i need mm. to use the product within 6 months of opening and 9 months from the time the manufacturing date has been mentioned so all right. our products actually have got a tested shelf life from an approved laboratory uh, by the mm. drug and cosmetic authority uh, uh, you know inspection authorities where you know mm. each and every single batch that we send out to the to the consumer has been tested for shelf life and the shorter the shelf life is always better health wise is that's one of our uh, one of our standing mottos as well you know so um, right. it's definitely worked in our favor where the consumer is more aware that you know i need to use the product i need to handle the product carefully because it is not a mm. commercial product it's an organic product it deserves that extra bit of care uh, and you know we've seen that the consumers are so careful about uh, the products that use and juicy chemistry also uh, you know sort of imparts that kind of knowledge transfer to the consumer as well where we've got all mm. this information on our website where the consumer can come and buy the product knows exactly mm. you know how to store it uh, what to do it just requires the trade off is it requires a little bit of extra care from the consumer side but then the benefits right. are completely outweigh that right um so now let's talk about your products you know you've got skin care hair care um uh products for the body um and i think you also have some stuff for the kids right if i'm not mistaken yeah so you have that as well um so uh what are some of your best selling products um you know just tell us about tell us a little bit about that uh would be 
sort of a little difficult question when it when it comes to say <laughs> this is your best selling products but you know or most uh, popular you know yeah, most isn't... popular yeah. yes <laughs> uh, i try to answer that question by being least biased but uh, okay <laughs> it is uh, it's a little difficult for me to you know say that because what juicy chemistry does is it is does not mm. create products in terms of flavor it does not it, it you know it doesn't create right. products in terms of you know just uh, you know physical and uh, sort of a sensory perception right so mm. we curate products for a particular type of skin with a particular type of concern so right. what you seeing of late you know because of the seasonality or then because of you know the changing weather conditions because of monsoon arriving of late mm. you know uh, we've seen that you know consumers are facing a lot of hair fall issues so our, yeah. our silly horsetail and uh, you know black seed oil has been performing phenomenally well for our customers where you mm. know we've come back with so many thousands and thousands of our customers have come back to us and they really instill that faith that the product is really working for them they've also seen a drastic control in the hair fall and also seen yeah. a promotion of hair growth as well which is really heartening mm. for us as a brand mm. uh, you know our our toning mist especially our rose water which comes directly from bulgaria has been mm. doing really really well it's it's nothing like n- nothing like the rose water that's available here in india we okay. directly go to bulgaria work with the organic farmers over there and you know we have yearly contracts with them where you know we get the freshest of the rose water distilled uh mm. plucked fresh and distilled before uh you know before noon and that water you know we use for our toning purposes is phenomenal uh, results for the skin it's uh, really helps customers to you know see difference in their you know sebum production balancing right. the ph of the skin you know giving them an even skin tone so that's what phenomenally well our lip care product you know our orange rose mm. uh, lip butter with for pigmentation has been doing phenomenally well for cons- for, for consumers and uh, they they see extended amount of uh, you know period of hydration uh, compared to any lip butter that they have used these are all the feedbacks that we are getting directly right. from the consumer so you know mm. that as as formulator uh formulators we get uh, the satisfaction that you know the product is really worth its uh its uh, time and effort that the consumer has invested in us so right. um those kind of products our deodorants are performing really well organic we are india's first and only mm. certified organic brand to give you organic ecosort organic deodorants that's pretty much uh same uh, when it comes to all our products uh, we are okay. probably the only brand in india to give you a range of products uh, over 100 of them uh, all of them in eco cert certification from france okay that's great and i see that you know you also source a lot of your uh, components from around the world you know right from kashmir to um, <laughs> you know a lot of places around the world and that's great to know um so because you're taking the time and effort to actually find what is the best uh, ingredient uh, to use for your you know various products right but um in terms of products from india is there anything you're giving back uh, to the indian farmers you know trying to help them out also by sourcing products from here yes absolutely so actually we just source about 20% to 25% of our ingredients from overseas 80 mm. uh, close to 75 to 80% of our products are all sourced here naturally um, you know within the indian territory we worked with we worked with indian uh, farmers at the grassroots mm. level we uh, you know have uh, turned so many natural farms into organic farms uh, because okay. you know we gave them the confidence of you know of take uh, you know because mm. what happens here in india is you know the, the organic certification is really new the farmer mm. does not really um, you know uh, get value for money as far as organic farming is concerned uh yeah, that's from, a big issue isn't it that's a very big issue that we face yeah. uh, because mm. you know uh, for example if you say you know a farmer in bulgaria or you know uh, for example uh, croatia even in africa for example uh, because african ingredients have uh, attained a lot of uh, respect worldwide in terms of its yeah. uh, you know marketing uh, uh, throughout the world but you see that the indian products are still yet to catch on uh, to that level of uh, understanding and uh, value creation for the farmer so you know for example if they are producing organic tomatoes uh, the, the market price is around 20 25 rupees or 40 rupees a kilo uh, they they can't just go to the market and sell them for 120 rupees because just because it's mm. organic they're not going to be getting the value for that kind of produce that they make so they are very wary of going uh, towards certification because one it costs a lot of money second right. uh, you know the produce that they attain uh is is obviously minimal in com- in in comparison to uh, uh commercial uh, land because mm. if if you're getting say 100 kgs from a commercial land 
uh, from, from an organic farm, you can only expect about 35 to 40 kgs to come out from that area, right? So they are reducing their produce uh, and uh, getting similar amount of uh, you know, returns on their investment. So, you know, to turn uh, farmers was a very big challenge uh, to go organic for us. But, you know, we did that systematically. We worked for, uh, with farmers uh, from the Himalayan region, from Gujarat to Rajasthan for aloe vera. Uh, we work local farmers to produce, you know, uh, mm. in, in the outskirts of Tamil Nadu where they produce organic tomatoes, onions, carrots, papaya. Uh, you know, these are fresh produce, fresh mm. produce. Uh, and we get it directly from the farms. We help them get the certification. You know, we gave them three years. You know, we supported them through the pro through the programs of you know NPOP mm. standards. And then you know they are they are more confident that you know uh, their produce is going to get definitely taken because you know we we give them a yearly contract and we actually pay them up uh, upfront in advance and say listen mm. um, you know uh, don't uh, uh, be afraid that you know your produce is not going to be picked up. We are booking your produce, and this is this is your advance for the uh, the produce that's going to come out, say three or four months later down the down, down the season right. period. Right? So you know that was systematically uh, done at Juicy Chemistry for us to you know gain access to organic ingredients locally. Uh, hmm. When we started off, organic certification was such a difficult process for us because you know it, you, farmers wouldn't realize uh, you know organic is completely different. Uh, than going natural. They do come back and say, sir, yeah, this is organic. I mean, we don't use mm. anything uh, that's <laughs> organic. But when you test the mm. soil, they actually fail the soil test because, you know, uh, the, the soil itself has been contaminated with pesticides, insecticides, right. fungicides, all sorts mm. of GMO seeds. You know, these are all things that, you know, we have to have a check because until and until, unless the, the, the DNA of the plant mm. material is chemical free, that's when I can call my product a chemical-free or a toxin-free product. So that was, right. you know, the initial stages when we started working with uh, with the farmers at the ground level. And we have, uh, you know, worked with extensively, uh, we've worked with different ingredients, you know, right from spices to plant material, to bark, to fresh produce, to essential oils, to nut oils, to butters. We have, uh, you know, we have worked really hard to create the supply chain within India now. But yes, of mm. course. The ingredients that are not available in India, which are not suitable for a geographical climate uh, within right. uh, within the Indian territory, what happens is because we don't rely on chemicals to give us the efficacy that we're looking off from a product, we have to really go to the source where they are grown best, and it's mm. within their natural habitat. For example, you know, olive uh, grows right. uh, in Spanish Greek regions, uh, and you know that it, mm. it's not comparable. With the kind of values that we get in terms of, you know, palmitic acid, and, uh, uh, ascorbic acid yeah. in, in some ingredients, uh, in linoleic values, uh, you know, they uh, they are phenomenal in terms of their uh, of their, uh, you know, natural uh, 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 fatty acids that you know cannot be replicated anywhere yeah. else. So that's the reason why we you know look at uh, farmers uh, for our uh, produce um, uh, from the source. From yeah, um, some people are asking when is your next sale up. I think they really look forward to your sales, uh, so I have to yes, check yeah. that out as well. <laughs> when uh, your sale comes up, uh, you know, now that Mega and myself have uh, taken on a bigger role uh, in in uh, in terms of you know operations, in terms of you know uh, everything else that's really happening in the company, the supply chain. You know, we really mm. don't put ourselves, uh, you know, mm. as to you know the marketing team's place. So if we have in fact told them, please don't tell us when is the marketing, uh, you know, schedules <laughs> that are going to come. You know, this is this yeah. is the plan for this month. Just go ahead and you know sort of incorporate it. Uh, mm. you know, obviously, yes, we know that you know we have to you know plan out something which is going to be happening, which is big. But you know, this is just uh, you know work in progress for us. You know, we have to uh, cater to stock adjustments. You know, supplies right. have to be adjusted accordingly. But, you know, predominantly we stay, stay clear of uh, uh, planning uh, marketing uh, sale periods <laughs> uh, at UC Chemistry. So I'm, I'm sure okay. that, you know, uh, it'll be, it, one will be there soon. Okay, so great. Um, some of the questions, you know, um, uh, are coming in as to where you have retail stores. I think the best way to order your product is to go online and order it. But then... Um, there are some people, I guess, who want to go to the physical store. So where all do you have stores in India? Uh, so, you know, our growth story uh, had a very big chapter where we were going to go offline stores uh, across India, predominantly starting okay. from tier one cities. Where that's where, okay. you know, the, uh, the footfall would be economically mm -hmm. and business uh, plans, uh, you know, obviously tell us that, you know, these places would do well for us. And mm -hmm. uh, we would actually 
<clears throat> excuse me, planning to have uh, physical stores in Chennai, in in Bangalore, in uh, in Pune, uh, Hyderabad, Calcutta. Right. Um, yeah. uh, but you know, obviously, uh, this was the start. We were we were planning to have a store in Chennai very uh, very recently, but then the mm. COVID situation hit, um, mm. and uh, you know, unfortunately. Uh, it doesn't make sense for us at this point in time to really go physical stores. What we have slightly changed in that plan is instead of having a standalone or a flagship store for juicy chemistry, what we're going to be strategically doing right now is identifying uh, retail stores which can you know stock our products, where right. you know customers can you know really come. It's a it's a known place. People come and hang out, mm. or you know it's a good football area, or it's a closer proximity to the city mm. area. So we are identifying these uh, these retail stores. We in fact are available in Bangalore in Go Native. Uh, we are going mm. to be soon in Chennai uh, with Evolution, uh, okay. which is going to be uh, which is going to be a, just post the uh, you know this this lockdown period just ended in Chennai, and then you know we are just planning out uh, you know physical uh, stops to go there. So once okay. uh, you know we have uh, those uh, in place, we will keep you informed on our Instagram and our social media handles where you can really go and uh, buy the stuff. Uh, uh, and even Bombay, for example, we are uh, we are in talks with uh, with a couple of retail outlets uh, in Bombay. Mm. So do watch out the space on our social media channels, and we'll definitely keep you posted as to where we are going to be coming next. Okay. Um, so one of the things uh, you know, uh, which somebody was just talking about, is um, whether you actually need to try and test the product before you buy it. Is that mandatory as far as natural? Uh, as far as um, you know, your products go because uh, they're organic and could they cause allergies? Because I don't, um, you know, I'm not sure about that, but I think some people want to know. Yes, absolutely. So just because a product is organic or natural does mm. not mean that you will get a hundred percent fit or a match as far as mm. the product is concerned. Just remember, uh, compared to a commercial product. In fact, organic products have to, you know, have a, a compatibility to your body, to mm. your, your skin type or your hair type. Mm. What mm. happens in a commercial product more often than not is there are anti-allergens that are already been added into the product. They are, you know, okay. um, you know, they would say that, you know, it's, it's been tested. It would say that it's dermatologically tested. Hypoallergenic. Tested, but yeah. hypoallergens as well and anti-allergens yeah. as well. So these are already added in your commercial product. What we do at Juicy Chemistry is we refrain from adding any anti-allergens or uh, you know anything that suppresses allergies uh, in our skincare products. Your body needs to know if you are allergic to something. You your mm. body needs to you know sort of tell you that you know you are allergic to the product or the product has not mm. suited you. It's obviously the other way around, right? Because yeah, your body everybody is different genetically built. You know, you see a lot of people with nut allergies. So, right. for example, shea butter or cocoa nut butter or coconut butter or anything to do with a nut, for example, you know, is not going to be a much uh, a suitable option for your skin type. Now, I have heard people with severe allergies, turmeric to aloe vera. Okay. I've heard mm. severe allergies, uh, you know, coming from coconut, for example. Mm. You know, so these are these are things that you need to uh, you know understand about your body. But the the other side is uh, to the story is that you are going to be completely chemical free. Uh, mm. There is going to be a transition phase to organic because we are so used to a commercial product. You know, the minute we switch to organic, more often than not, just say about two percent of the people uh, that you know that we have seen at, at Juicy Chemistry face a little bit of a, a adaptation uh, period. For example, mm. you know, we when we recommend a product to a shampoo product to our to our customers, we immediately uh, you know pair it up with a with a message saying that if you have been using a commercial product. Please understand that there is going to be a transition period to an organic shampoo because you know it feels mm. different. We generally associate lather with good cleansing. You know that's right. that's what it's sensory. The more the mm. lather, the better the clean, better the cleansing. That's actually not the case at all as far as you know uh, formulations are concerned. I mean, more lather not necessarily means good cleaning. So we always tell the clients, you know, give it some time, even if it's not suited you, give it about two weeks for your body to get adapted to an organic. Of purely organic product and once mm. you get adapted to it and, and you know this happens to a very few uh, amount of people uh, that have tried our products or any other uh, you know product uh, but uh, the, the the advice i would give is to you know give the product time to work on your on your skin it it it, it detoxes it pulls out the toxins from your body it they have actives they have very mm. high amount of actives and less amount of anti allergens and that's why you will see that you know you need time for adaptation for organic products right 
Right. So uh, somebody is just sending a message about, you know, why don't you sell uh, small sample size or travel size packs for people <laughs> to try it and, you know, um, so they can buy it and test it out. And if they like it, then they, you know, go and buy the bigger bottles. I think that's, that's a valuable suggestion. But then, of course, um, how feasible it is, one doesn't know. <laughs> so Absolutely. Um, no, uh, I mean, uh, uh, we have been trying uh, Juicy Chemistry to, uh, to you know, uh, the, the very reason that the brand is here today is because we listen to our con consumers. You know, right. that's what we are Ritesh, um, my, uh, you know, last couple of questions is what, one would be the price point. Um, ha I mean, I've seen your price points and I think they're quite reasonable uh, as compared, you know, when you see the MNCs and what they're charging, um, you know, uh, so I definitely think uh, this is something which is affordable and if it's all organic, then People should obviously, you know, look at your products rather than going for um, those. Uh, but what do you think about the price point? And do you think, um, you know, uh, uh, it's it's that's where you want to be at? And if you're going to be at, you know, at uh, in stores, right? Uh, will the prices change again, or do you plan to stick to your pricing? Uh, see, for us, the uh, the motivation was to to convert as many people as possible towards organic, and, and mm. that reflects in our pricing as well. Uh, like you rightly said, that you don't feel they are too expensive as compared to the other products that are out there, and they are not half uh, half as organic as 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 we are. So, mm. what we see here is a value proposition uh, for the mm. consumer. If you talk to any one of the Juicy Chemistry customers, they'll say that you, you, even though our pro pack sizes are small, like you know they come in a ten ml. Uh, uh, 20 ml, 30 ml, and then, you know, maximum, you know, we go to about 100 ml because, mm. you know, our products are so concentrated. Our products are actually water free. So, you know, mm. uh, you don't get uh, the, the, the advantage with Juicy MC's product is what you don't get with the products. So you don't mm. get, uh, you know, 70% water in your formulation. So obviously it's a very concentrated product and you will see that our serums probably require just about a drop or two at the max to cover your mm. entire face because that's how concentrated the products are. So you will see mm. that a 10 ml bottle as well will last you for a good 45 days and you know, uh, and sometimes even more, uh, four or five days more than that, depending on mm. how you use the product. So you know what we have really tried to do is try to keep it in an affordable uh, segment as much as possible. Given that we are organic, we've always tried mm. to you know push uh, the push our boundaries in terms of you know trying to reach out as many people as possible. And, and, you know, sort of create a community of uh, people who can really go uh, completely chemical free. And that was the motive uh, when we started Juicy Chemistry in the first place. And we've stuck to that, uh, to that uh, ethos of ours. And the pricing reflects that. Uh, the pricing will remain uh, consistent across India, uh, mm. no matter where the products are being bought from. So mm. uh, to the customers who are looking to go and buy our products in the retail outlet, the prices will definitely remain uh, same. But of course, Offers and uh, you know um, deals might differ, so, uh, mm. you know, from place to place and uh, from platform to platform. But uh, predominantly, the prices will remain same across platforms. Okay, that's brilliant, and I think that's great news <laughs> because it's not like you know, oh, I, if I go online, it's cheaper, or if I go to the store, it's cheaper. There's no confusion on that because that uh, I've seen that happen sometimes. Um, so but there are a lot you know, of people. The offers are different, mm. you know. I mean, there are different, yeah. different companies, uh, different brands, or try to offer different uh, different uh, products. Uh, you know, it could be anything from marketing to brand awareness mm. uh, to increasing footfall on the website. It could be so many things. Mm. Uh, uh, which which know, is completely understandable, yeah. which is completely understandable. Now, one of the things I also noticed is um, you seem to be growing more on word of mouth, right? Um, I don't see any large scale ad, uh, advertising. So I think that's really worked uh, in your favor because people have used the products and then, you know, said, OK, this brand is fantastic. You should try it out, right? Uh, uh, that's that's the best kind of marketing that that. Uh, you know, we could have really hoped for uh, Lata, to be very honest with you. When we started off the brand, we started off with about 5,000 rupees in our pocket, you know, not mm. knowing what we were doing uh, in, in terms of, uh, you know, how we were going to reach the consumer or how we were supposed to, uh, you know, take this uh, and uh, reach uh, as many people as we have did so far. Mm. But, uh, you know, for us, uh, it, the journey was phenomenal in the sense that, you know, we got appreciation from the consumer. And the consumer always came back to us and said, hey, listen, you know, because you have an organic soap now, could you also make an organic shampoo? Because, you know, I'm looking to go completely organic. It doesn't really make sense if I'm half organic. I'm just using one product. If the other products are going to be 
you know commercial then it just doesn't uh, you know solve my uh, intention of going organic in the first place so you know right. consumers have always come back to us and say that you know we loved your products and you know they are the ones who have you know made you stem to what it is today literally it's mm. it's you know it's it's a feeling of uh, of ownership that they have with the brand and that's right. what is enduring right. for us and uh, that's what has got uh, to where we are and uh, we hope this continues and people do help us spread the message of organic to as many people as possible and uh, that is our mission okay fabulous thank you so much for uh, space for talking to me and of course i'm looking forward to trying out your products and a lot of people are asking about hair fall and all those things guys i would urge you all to go check out the juicychemistry.com website and find I'm out sorry, what we products are suitable questions <laughs> as far as product recommendations are concerned today we'll yeah to chat with you uh, lata for uh, <laughs> uh it was a wonderful evening thank you so much for having me over i request all the all the viewers over here to come and you know give us a shout out either on our instagram or or uh on our email which is at uh, hello at the rate of juicy chemistry.com we will try to answer i mean we always do answer all your queries uh on these platforms so um we will take it uh from there thank you so much for having me lata uh, thank you so you much very best. wishing you the very best and uh, wishing juicy chemistry the very best as always thank you so much take care, take care take care take care, take care. Yeah. yeah take care guys you guys thank too you so take much, care guys. be good thank you